that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning. We get wild up here. to the hottest group right now. They got that album, Culture 3. Migos is with us this morning, you guys. So I'm curious about this. You know, rappers, we see y'all's lives on, uh, on, on social media. Because that's where we get to see it all now. Everybody's social media. But it seems like y'all's lives be so good. What time? You all party all day, every day. What time do you go to bed at night? Sometimes five, six. Seven. Sometimes no <laughs> sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to get on the jet. We got to go. Got to do something. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Party he right. he didn't say the plane. He said the jet. The jet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are rock stars now. They well, for real, for real. Ain't nobody in the middle seat on that plane. <laughs> uh, okay so here's another one i want to i want to know um you know there was a it was a statement or something that was said in one of your songs he said something about a woman and her body and if if the butt is fake y'all feel like it's still it's her still and you okay with that y'all are okay with the fake body parts that they keep oh, saying yeah it's, ain't nothing wrong with enhance it uh, <laughs> we good with that open arms baby whatever make you feel good. <laughs> whatever whatever gonna boost your confidence whatever there you make go you feel good I fix the flat feel, and all i want you to feel your greatest you know what <laughs> i mean whatever you do from the back from the back we enjoy it <laughs> I love that. I love it. I bet there are a lot of women who love to hear that too. So now, how do you guys stay together in in a in an era and a culture where, and it's certainly in the music business, that you know everybody wants to break a group up. Uh, and you guys did your solo projects, but you came back together. What, how did what makes you guys stay together? What is it? Family, you know what I'm saying? We really, we really blood and we love each other, and we 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 know the ultimate goal. Mission. We, got we know all this up. on the outside. Is 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 all goals, and we can be greater together. And then you know what I'm saying whatever whatever we want to do, whatever life journey, we ain't never did it. And we and, and and we all started from ground zero. We all started from nothing. We came together. So whenever somebody want to experience something personally, let them experience yeah. it, and we support each other. We, we support, support it and go on about our day because we still growing. We all we all growing to still know and love each other you know what i mean so what are, what is the goal for for you guys as a group what is the goal to be, be the greatest be group, group of all time of all time you know what i mean sure. keep keep these hits coming keep these fans satisfied and keep these people loving us and we ready to uh, work for life love it <laughs> I ain't I, love at you on a, that right there here's a here's another question for you guys you know i'm always curious about this as a rapper when you start looking at you know your future or whatever if you're looking that far into it um, at what age do you think you should stop rapping? A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Really? A hundred? And at what age can you start pursuing a career? Like, like there's always a joke that, oh, well, you can't be a 40-year-old man trying to kick your rap career off. What do you but have see, to say to that? You think that's, that's possible? Up. That's Yeah, that's cap, because look at rock stars. How can they do it? Or, 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 or country singles? Or how can they be? But they ain't starting. They're not starting their career at 40. Oh, you said Yeah, starting. but can you? Do y'all believe that you can start I mean, your career at 40? I just feel, rap had that jump. It ain't no I just feel like what you trying you must be trying to do like you gotta do I don't know, man. I, think, <laughs> I don't think that's cool. I don't, I think it's too late, bro, because because this game is this game right is about the kids, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And 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 jumping off jumping off at 40, bro. You just made like maybe what you know what I'm saying? That ain't right. You know what I mean? Because you're wasting your time. I feel like mm -hmm. you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. So then at 40, if they want to start at 40, they need to just go on and go get a J-O-B. <laughs> yeah. So if you're speaking for somebody that's 40, like, you know what I'm saying? Tell them to uh, chill out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so let's get into this about you guys' personalities. I'm always curious about when you have groups like you guys, you know, who's always late? Who's the one who's always running late? Y'all like, damn, can you get here on time? Who is it? <laughs> I can answer that one. Each one of us be really having our little late moments. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Oh, what about this one? Who Who is the best athlete? You know, y'all are family, so it's a lot of friendly competition that goes on. Who's the best athlete between the three of you guys? I was about to Quavo. say, I watch your man. You see it for yourself, man. Hey, I, I saw the all all game weekend. Quavo, that left hand jumper ain't no joke, player. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. You know I mean? I, I Hold on, JJ. I, <laughs> What'd you say, Quavo? I got some splash on me. You know, I'm yeah, you do. Home. Yeah, you <laughs> do. <laughs> splash, little yeah, little yeah. Splash. Cause, Cause you play ball in high school, huh? Yeah, I played football in high school. Oh, baseball in high school. I played quarterback. 
Uh-huh. Uh. Okay, so this okay. is the athlete. Now, wait a minute. Do I understand now? Is it Quavo? Who was who was also in who was in um or was it offset? Who was in the Whitney Houston video? Was the dancer they said? Yeah, yo boy, I've been a star oh. since Sam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you been, been a star since Sam. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, been a star since Sam. Uh, it was Whitney Houston, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was destined. My, my my It was destined for me to be great. <laughs> now, at that age when you were dancing, were you rapping to, or you just only danced no, as a I kid? Just, I was just dancing. I was just dancing. I really. How old were you? Home, how old were you when you got into rap? When you started rapping? Who started? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sam Gray. He was in the eighth grade. The eighth grade. Yeah. Eighth grade. All of you guys. Yeah, he came. He came. He came at me in the cafeteria about my album that everybody was um kind of like one fucking with. So uh, <laughs> told him call. Cool. He came. He came to me. And was like, man, this shit hard, bro. Uh huh. Like, For real. Uh huh. Like, yeah, yeah. And then ever since you know, ever since then, but I'm talking about like the music, like. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I wait a minute. He, he was fucking with it like that. Y'all were that young, and then you had an album. Yeah. 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 Uh Okay, we got to take another break, everybody. Yeah, another yeah, break. Tate was on it too. Me and Takeoff was on it. I, I used to pass, pass around my CDs. Mm -hmm. like eight I would have supported like cousin. Eight songs. Eight yeah, songs. They were hanging on my EP. boy. I pulled up on a total. Hey, they, they're hard now. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I love it. Wake that ass up. Get up and get turned up with Diddy in the morning.